And we begin tonight with a CTV News exclusive. An Ottawa man awoke from an afternoon nap to a terrifying sight. Armed masked men demanding cash. George Nahas was threatened and assaulted in the home invasion. And it could have been much worse if not for some clever, quick thinking. CTV's Joanne Schnur spoke with the man today and starts us off with our CTV exclusive. Joanne? George Nahas has seen a lot in his life, but never in his 70 years did he expect a terrifying encounter in his own home in the middle of an otherwise ordinary afternoon. It was last Thursday afternoon and George Nahas had decided to lie down for a short nap after working in his garden in the hot sun. I hear some noise, so I look up and there is three people standing on top of my head, one with a gun and uh, a bandana on his face. Nahas thought at first it was a joke, but they started screaming for money. He knew this was real. At this point, you know, I want to get away from them somehow, so I'm just walking in the direction of the, the kitchen. Nahas said they pushed him to the ground. His glasses bit into his face. There's some bruises on the area. The shoving continued, and the four of them ended up in the living area, where a quick-thinking Nahas got an idea. At this point, I told them that, you know, I'm, I could have a heart attack because I have a heart condition to take it easy. One guy headed upstairs, the other to the basement to look for money. The guy with the gun reached for duct tape, and Nahas grabbed that opportunity to run for the alarm pad. He was following me. At this point, I told him I just pressed the alarm pad and the police is on the way. The three took off. A witness told police they saw four young men run into a car parked on Bartlett Private a couple blocks away. Police are now looking for four men in their 20s, dark-skinned, driving a silver or grey car. 3.45 in the afternoon, it's not something we see fairly often, so we're, we're a little unclear uh, and it forms really part of the investigation as we move forward, whether this was something that was uh, random or whether he was, for some reason, specifically targeted. Nahas has no idea why his house was targeted. He had no money, nothing was taken. Did you lock the doors? But he admits he did leave the garage door open while he took that nap, a mistake he'll never make again. You can never be careful enough about securing the place you live in. There have been 21 home invasions so far this year, compared to 38 in all of last year. In most of those cases, though, police say the victims knew they are attackers. Naha says not so this time around. Graham. Terrible story. CTV's Joanne Schnur reporting live. Thanks, Joanne.